Okay, so uh, it hasn't been two years yet, so I guess I'm doing well. Welcome back to your Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And uh, when we left it last time, we killed some bounty hunters whose bodies have inexplicably vanished, and saved an old guy who ran that away to give a crime lord some money. Um, our current mission is to search for the Jedi Bastila. Um, okay, yeah, sounds like a plan. Um, which way? Which way? Uh -huh. Any clues here? Uh, to apartments, to the upper city, to the equipment emporium. Hmm. Let's see what's that way. <laughs> well, obviously I know what's this way. Oh, it's a medical facility. Knock, knock. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Hey, that's racist. So, you are welcome here. I will not this have it said Chinese? that Self-Caporn refused to help Sully just Oriental. because they weren't a citizen of Terrus. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. <gasps> Plot drop! <laughs> so... No, I'm okay for healing. I don't really care too much about that just yet. So, um, medical. Let's not give him the, you know, drop in that. Obviously, he wants us to go and fix it, doesn't he? But, um, anyway, medical facility. Is this some kind of hospital? Uh, this is a hospital of sorts, though my resources are quite <coughs> limited since the Sith quarantined the planet. Uh -huh. I provide basic medical services to all citizens of and visitors to Terrace. I have extensive medical training, and even with the lack of resources, I can treat most injuries or ailments right here at the center. Except for the rat ghoul disease, of course. Hint, hint. Tell you what, why didn't you tell me about the rat ghoul disease? The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. Mm -hmm. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Mm, sounds Prolonged good. Prolonged exposure to the undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, Ooh, nice. becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Sounds like a rejected Captain Planet plot. There's no cure. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease. Though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Ooh. Then the Sith arrived. <sighs> they overran the That's military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could uh -huh. just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. I don't see how that's going to happen. <laughs> Oh, that was perfect timing on that raised eyebrow. That's exactly what I just did. Alright? Really, you say? I'm a heavily armed off-worlder who hates the Sith. I Maybe I could find a way to get my hands on that serum for you. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Ah, too easy. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. <laughs> I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. Wow. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Oh, oh, oh. oh, son, you have no idea how stupid I am. Don't worry, Zelka, I'll get that serum for you. Please, don't say that. If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. What, they can shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect what? anyone to get me the serum. No. Is there anything else oh, I can do you for you? Oh, you cheeky little bald bastard. If the only reason I asked is because you mentioned it twice, as if I should care. <sighs> okay, um, well, I know I'm good for healing, so um, I, I want to ask you some questions. I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. <laughs> what would you like to know? Zalka, when we walked in, you were standing around twiddling your thumbs. If that's all you need to do to maintain a facility, well then I shall maintain my house by doing likewise. <sighs> well, we know all about the Rack Ghoul disease. Um, let's see. Well, how do you feel about the Sith? Let's get let's let's, let's do some canvassing. Let's see what the the man on the street, or in this case, the man in the medical facility, thinks about the new uh, owners of the planet. I know enough to be scared of them. Good man. I've heard about the brutality of the Sith. Yep. 
I know what they do to the planets they conquer. So far, <laughs> Party all every day, ask me some general questions, but I'm afraid they might one day decide to shut this facility down simply out of evil spite. Mm. I guess there's not much I can do about the Sith, except hope that the Republic finds a way to stop their conquest of the entire galaxy. Well, considering the Republic, it doesn't think that uh, teaching its soldiers how to engage in hand-to-hand um, -hand and, you know, uh, unarmed hand-to-hand -hand combat sort of thing, um, yeah, it's probably not going to happen. Um, okay, I want to ask you something else. I am quite busy, mate. Yeah, I'll shut up. Um, okay, I want some general information about Taris. I don't know much, but I'll tell you what I can. Do you want to know about Upper Terrace, or are you more interested in Lower Terrace and the Undercity? Um, tell me about the Undercity. The Undercity is a wasteland crawling with flesh-eating mutants called rat ghouls. Uh -huh. I feel sorry for the outcasts that are forced to live there. <laughs> outcasts, you say? This sounds like a game to me. Justice here on Terrace is swift and harsh. There are only two punishments, execution or banishment to the Undercity. Anyone banished can never return on pain of death. Uh -huh. Even their descendants are forced to live in the depths beneath our great cities. Whenever I can, I send supplies to the Undercity to help ease the misery of their lives. Oh, isn't that nice? Although there is nothing I can do to help those infected with the Rakul disease. Again, talking about the... Oh, I know what that is. All right. So, uh, this was a shiny beacon in the Republic or something, and yeah, it was a shitty place to live. Okay, gotcha. I am quite busy maintaining... So, um, hey, do you happen to know anything about the Republic escape pods that crashed in the Undercity? Republic escape pods? I... no. Why would you ask me that? Hmm, that was a I don't stumble. Know. Those pods crashed in the Undercity. I'm not involved in any way. Hmm, methinks thou dost protest too much. Let's see if we can persuade him. If you know something, you better tell me, unless you'd rather talk to the Sith. The Sith were already here, asking these same questions. I'll tell you what I told them. I don't know anything about those pods. Now, is there something else you need? Hmm. So, let's see if we can get I am to quite busy maintaining... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I mean, obviously he knows something about them. He stumbled a bit too much. Republic escape pods. I... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. You seem awfully defensive about this. I'm not defensive. Uh -huh. I just don't like being accused of knowing something about those Republic pods. This is as bad as an interrogation by the Sith. Um, really? Alright, really, is this all the Sith do, is just ask you leading questions? I mean, you know, they don't you know, rip up your fingernails or jam nails into your uh, kneecaps and collect it to an electricity switch or something, do they? No? Oh well. Uh, let's try uh, persuading him this time then. Don't worry, I'm not with the Sith. I won't betray your secret if you tell me. Well, you don't look like you're with the Sith. Oh, you gullible fool. Uh, I guess I can tell you my secret. Or rather, I can show you. Uh huh. Ooh. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash landed on the uh -huh. planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. Okay. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine mm -hmm. what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. Uh huh. Well, it's, it's, it's rather convenient that they're all about to die anyway, so it's not like we can get uh, any reinforcements and set up some sort of guerrilla operation, but, uh. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Nope. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Mm hmm. Good point. Alright, general entry added. Ah, Rackle Serum. So I need to get to the Undercity somehow. Alright. Oh, get out of the way, Garth, you pain in the bottom. Psst, you there. Wait a minute. No. I need to talk to you about the Rackle Serum. If I've got an offer for you, you might want to hear. Um, I'm not interested because you sound greasy. Oh, don't be an idiot. Ugh. Just listen to me for one minute, and you won't be sorry. Uh -huh. David Kang wants the cure, and you'd be smart to give it to him. David Kang? Would that be the guy who was bullying an old fellow just now? Oh, I don't think so. I think I'd rather give the... Uh, we could ask him lots of questions, but... All you need to know is that David is a crime boss, as we know, 
he wants the cure because hey, it's worth a fortune, and um, well, we'll come across Davik soon enough. So um, he's in it for the money. I think we probably guess that. So uh, I think I'd rather give the serum to Zelga. He'll use it to help people. Helping people is all well and good, uh -huh. but you have to help yourself first, right? No. I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure. More than Zelka could ever afford. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the yeah, rat, it doesn't make just a communist, does it? In the lower city bounty office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Uh-huh. Or I could just stab you in the face. That'd be quite amusing. Anyway, um... Room. Yeah, definitely not going to do that. So, we need now to somehow get into the Undercity. So, let's have a look. So, that's two apartments. That is two more part of the city. So, let's go this way. That's a, cool, that's a pretty cool um, statue. Come on, Garthy. Let's go. Come on, Nessie. There's a good boy. <clears throat> Ooh, another floating thing. That is Taris Citizen. Hello, Taris Citizen. Okay, um. No. Uh huh. Oh, right. What? Ah, that was it. Uh, mild first person perspective. You know, I'm going to say that's probably another apartment block. Okay, close enough. Okay, let's have a look around. And a door to apartments yet, so we don't really care about all that. Even though, um,. As I said, there is that uh, fast. Well, showed you there's that fast travel system. There's still a lot of running around to do. But anyway, um, this is one thing. Yeah, periodically, um, members of your party, uh, when you've got enough experience points or whatever, will um, well, this will happen. Something seems to be bothering Karth. Maybe we should speak to him and see if we can get him to open up about it. I'm say this here and now. Um, every character has their own. Also, what I'm looking for has their own um, story, if you like. They have their own story that you can work through, um, which involves talking to them an awful lot uh, at various stages as you level up. Um, I'm not going to do all of them because that will take forever, and plus yeah, that ruin everything. That will ruin far far too much, and you know, it's stuff to discover yourself when you go and buy this your, uh, for yourself and play it. Or not. Blah, I can't speak English, but let us attempt to speak to Garth despite my uh, lack of articulation. Yes, what's on your mind? My? What's. Okay, no, I. Uh, I'd like to know some more about you, Garth. I wouldn't, but let's do it anyway. Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Uh huh. I've seen more than my share of wars. Really? I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. Ooh. With all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of these sick animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My hmm. home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop it. Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. Um, ooh, well, not silly, because he didn't sound particularly agitated. Um, so I'm not going to say calm down, I was just asking. I'm sorry, Garth, this must be very painful for you, or you're talking like it's your fault, like you failed somehow. Yeah, let's go with that one. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. Yeah. That shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. Them? Ooh, do you mean the people of your homeworld? No, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm not making much sense. Not really. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. That's convenient. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Oh, I'm sure I'll have to. All right. Um. But uh, yeah. What is Ooh. this planet coming to, huh? <gasps> Slummy's just walking around the upper city. Get out of my way, Sith. Oh, this is rich. 
Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Uh huh. You try, if you're trying to pick a fight, you've got one. That would probably involve slaughtering these um, poor hapless fools and would no doubt give me some dark side points. Now uh, that would obviously be a threat. So yeah, again, let's just be nice, Mr. Goody Goody. Hey guys, we can all be friends here. Let me buy you a drink. Do you like Tuwaka? A drink? Hey, hey! Bruce Lummy, you ain't so bad. Come, Come on, on, boys. This Lummy's pie in the next round. <laughs> No way, forget it. No more drinks. Smart Why boy. Enough as it is. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Maybe next time, Slummy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. Yeah. Bye bye, boys. Celebration flourish. <sighs> da -da -da. Oh, a droid shop. Listen to me, people. Ooh. There is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. Heed my warning before it is too late. <laughs> uh, the evil walks among us. The enemy is here. We must act now before we are overrun with the vermin invaders. Uh, what are the odds this is going to be some random shit? That's fine. We cannot sit out friends and fellow humans. Uh -huh. I bring you a warning. Yes. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Uh -huh. Please, listen to me. My name is Gorton Kolu. Uh -huh. Will you join my cause? Okay. We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. Vermin and scum? What are you talking about? Or are you referring to the Sith? Yeah, let's go with that. Are you referring to the Sith? Please no. I am speaking of the hideous looking aliens <sighs> who the world of Taris. The Wookiees and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them. Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why uh. I, Gorton Kodu, have formed oh, the anti alien God League. Really? The time has come for action. Right, we then. cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet. Why is it, whenever there is a need, there's some crazy, racist, xenophobic, fascist shit in these sorts of games, it's all the, the, the personal character uttering this tripe, why is it they always have an English accent? We had one empire. Once. Okay. I, I just. I. Don't. I, uh, just. Get. Fine. Okay, enough. Yeah, I, I can't make that any funnier. You're right, we should have slaughtered a whole bunch of them. Yeah, I see. I don't think so. Let's uh, back off, you crazy BMP shagging kook. I have no time for this. Nah, fucking... Jah, fuck. You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. Uh -huh. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Come on, we should keep moving. Cook or no, people like him can make trouble for us. Yeah. So long Listen to those bastards. There is a terrible scourge sweeping up. Anyway, let's pop this way. Ooh, a new Sith guard and an elevator. This elevator oh. is off limits. Is it? Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. Ah, the lower it's city. obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. Again, why must they be English? God. Okay. Let's move just... along then. I'm gonna need some kind of disguise if we want to get past this guy. That's it, Garth. Whisper it just loud enough when you're right next to him, Zia! You stupid fool! Come on. Okay. Where are we? Um. I have no idea. So, uh, that's where we are. That was to more apartments. And that was to a droid shop, and there. 
Oh, no, that was there. That was something about to... Oh, that's cool. Um, something was about to explode. Uh, it's a military base. Right, I strongly suspect I've missed something along the way here, and I know exactly where it is I've missed. Um, so we'll call that a day... well, yeah, call that a video. Um, yeah. So, yeah, a bit more rambling than I planned. Hopefully the next one will be a bit more entertaining with lots more gruesome deaths or some such fun stuff. So, yeah, keep on gaming in the free world. By the power of Grace Golf. Oh!